Hi Leos, this is terribly accurate. So this could be for uh, Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising. If this is your first time watching, thanks for tuning in. Hope you come back. If this is not your first time watching, thanks for coming back. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. Um, a reason to subscribe to these is so that you get alerted when they come out, so you don't have to check back or miss them. So anyway, this is your love reading for June 5th through July 5th, and this is for singles and couples. So we'll start with Leo Singles. What's going on for you? We've got a challenge card that came out face down, so we'll look at that in a minute, followed by the Three of Swords, and whoa, your cards are just flying all over the place. I had to go a real long distance to get that one. Um, it's a challenge, again, and what else? Oh my goodness, then these two here are kind of fighting with this Three of Swords. Um, they actually spun it into the reverse position, so we should just get started with this because these cards are starting to act real wonky. Okay, so your challenge card is challenge yourself to remember that the past is the past it's behind you. The worst of the worst has already happened, okay? So when you don't do that, you're feeling like this. You're feeling defeated. You're feeling betrayed. You're feeling disappointed that, like, you're allowing those hurts to hurt you, okay? But then these two cards came over here, and they were like, um, no. Don't feel that way. Don't feel like, you know... Don't continue to feel those feelings from the past. The hurts, the betrayals, all of that. Because you, this is a Leo card. I mean, it isn't, but I always take it as a Leo card. I don't know who it pertains to particularly. Maybe it. Maybe it pertains to Leo, I don't know. But point is, is I always think of this person as Leo. Um, you are totally in control of everything. You've got your ish together. People look at you admirably. You are a glowing, radiant bucket of sunshine. You are funny. You are creative. You are sexy. Okay? So don't be wallowing and thinking about the past. That ish already happened. Don't let it hurt you anymore. Okay? Now it's saying um, a challenge with the Hierophant here. And I'm wondering why that one popped up. Let's see. Oh. Okay, um, so challenging yourself to do things um, the way that you did them before you were hurt, okay? Before anything, okay, so whatever hurts that you felt from the past, whatever kind of betrayals you went through, whatever kind of experiences you had, they have changed the way that you approach love now. Try to like clear yourself of all of that stuff. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so if I'm making weird faces, that's why. Clear yourself of all of that stuff and go back to the way that you were, where you did have your heart on your sleeve, where you were open to like letting other people love you and showing love because that's how you get to this place of really succeeding and winning in love and getting what you want and having other people look at you the way that they used to like wow that person is like so radiant you know like they have it all they've got it going on you need to feel that way about yourself before other people will start to um, really view you that way again okay so what else is going on for single Leos now that that's out of the way Holding on tight to maybe possessions, people, circumstances, things in your life that mean a lot to you. Uh, maybe a fear of letting go of certain things. And so that might correlate to what we just talked about where, you know, maybe you're holding on really tightly to memories or um, people from the past and it's saying if you continue to do so, then they're going to continue to hurt you. This is like the past is the past. The worst of it is behind you. You're tired from it. You're beaten down, but it's, it's all behind you now. But the longer that you hold on to that ish, 
the more it's going to come into the now, into the present, into the future. Um, and that's unfair. That's being unfair to you. That's being unfair to yourself. So what, are we all, what else do we have here for Leo singles? You can win at this. You can win at love. You can have an awesome relationship that other people are super jealous of because it's so amazing. But you just got to let that ish go. Okay? Now, for Leos who are coupled, what do we have for you all? This is June 5th to July 5th. Um, new starts. So, this is like new, stable beginnings. This is like relationships that are built on, um, you know, the the tenants that need to be there, love, trust, respect, all of that stuff. So you're already in a relationship with somebody, but maybe they are missing one of those four, one of those legs of that chair. And so that you're trying to bring that in now. Um, this could be a home move. This could be a new job. But this is like seeking, making plans, seeking out stability and um, structure within your relationship. Good new starts. It will be a little bit challenging um, to change things from the way that they were to the way that you want them to be. But breaking down what exists in the past so that something new and better can be built is what's kind of going on here. So there's going to be some things that happen um, as you do this where, you know, for example, maybe you're buying a home together. You didn't live together in the past. And um, so you have to give up a little bit of your freedom. You know, your partner is going to want you around more, something like that. Uh, but that's okay, you know, because you get to keep a lot of your independence in other ways, and you're just creating a lot more structure and balance and harmony uh, within the relationship by doing so. And it's like you're finally seeing things for what they are and how they are and you're not um, hiding the truth from yourself. You're not justifying your partner's behaviors or your own behaviors. You guys are having real good com communication and you're not, um, it's like there's just like a lot more honesty and better communication and sharing going on right now. There is also uh, not any temptation coming in. I feel like some of you have been through some ish with your partner and it was like, do I even want to be with this person? And maybe you were tempted by other people because you're like, something's just not right and I don't know what it is that I want. Like, I know that I care about them, but I just don't know that they're right for me kind of thing. But it's like, those temptations are gone. Like, you finally made up your mind and so now you're trying to build something like even more solid. Um... The issues might be that you both have the same goal in mind, but you have a different idea of how to get there, how to create that stability within your relationship. And um, it's saying here, because this one was like a slight challenge. It was like this. Excuse me. My allergies are going wild for some reason. Um, it's saying not to really – it's like saying don't give up. Don't don't take a, a rest on this. Keep asserting what it is that you want, what you need. Um, and, you know, I mean, you might have to sacrifice a few things in order to get there. But your partner will have to sacrifice a few things too. You know, that's just how it goes. What else for coupled Leos? June 5th to July 5th. This one's coming out as a slight challenge. Um, like I said, you know... Changing things, changing the structure, what was before, so that now what is is better. What is coming is going to be way better. Because some of you were in some serious BS. And just remember, um, I feel like some of you are pessimistic. Some of you have a lot of fear. And it's not unjustified. You know, like you should have those fears. But try this one last time. If this is somebody that you've been with for a long time that maybe breaking up, starting again kind of thing, to be an optimist just one more time. Try to put your faith in it. Try to just trust, close your eyes, step off that clip, and hope that they catch you, you know? Um, really stay focused on your goals. I'm building something new that is better and stronger together. 
Love you. Good luck.